Did you know that to make chia pudding, all you need is three ingredients? Hi, I'm Yubna from Feel Good Foodie, and today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite chia pudding recipe. It takes three ingredients to make it. You need chia seeds, milk, and a sweetener of some choice. So let's get started. What I like to do, you can play around with the measurements as you like. You can like it a little bit more liquidy, a little bit more thick. I found the perfect ratio that works really well for a lot of people. So to start, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of chia seeds. Then there's about six grams of protein in those two tablespoons of chia seeds. That's like an egg, you guys. So think about like how much protein that is and how filling that's gonna be for your body. To that, I'm gonna add half a cup of almond milk. I like to use toasted coconut almond milk that's not sweetened because I like to sweeten it with some honey. We're basically like 75% done with this recipe, you guys. I mean, this is how easy it is. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and sweeten it. I like to use some honey. If you want this to be vegan, you can use maple syrup or agave syrup. I'd say a teaspoon, but I just eyeball it. it. Doesn't have to be exact. And now I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. So the mixing is really important. Sometimes people say, oh, the chia pudding didn't turn out well, and what did I do wrong, and it clumped up, and I think the most important part is to mix it really well before it sets in the fridge. And what happens with chia seeds, actually, it's gonna puff up a lot, so it's gonna absorb all that milk. It'll have like a pudding-like texture. And what I like to do is after I mix it, I like to just wait a minute and just wait to see what the chia seeds do and just let them kind of sit for a little bit. And then I'll mix it again one more time. So after about a minute, you'll see that the chia seeds has actually gone to the bottom you'll see that the chia seed is separated from the milk. This is where a lot of people go wrong when they make chia seeds is they just put this in the fridge just like that and then it clumps up at the bottom. So what's important to do is wait for a minute and then mix it again. I like to use a fork also just to kind of separate those out a little bit more. That's it you guys, that's all we need to do to prep this chia pudding. So it's all set now but unfortunately we can't eat it just yet. So what we have to do now is cover it up and place it in the fridge. It needs to settle for about four hours minimum, but what I like to do is just make these at night and then just they're ready in the morning for breakfast. You can have them for a snack throughout the day. And this will keep good in the fridge for like a week. So this is an ultimate make ahead snack. So if you're meal prepping or doing things in advance, add this to your list, just mix it all up, throw it in the fridge and you'll have it on hand ready to go. So I had these prepared a day before and this is what it looks like. They're all set and ready to go. And if I open it up, you'll see that it kind of has a pudding texture. So it doesn't even move, basically. So that chia seed has grown like times five or times 10 and it basically absorbed all the liquid and now it becomes like pudding. And now the fun part. This is ready to eat as is. You can go ahead and grab it. It's like 100 calories for a little mason jar like this. And what I like to do though is I like to go ahead and add some fresh fruit to it and just make it a complete snack. So I have here some strawberries. We'll just add some strawberries on top. And these are awesome for taking them on the go because they're super portable. You can just close them up and then they, they stay good outside the fridge for a few hours even. I'm also gonna add a little bit of blueberries on here. And like I said, you can top these however you'd like. I love adding some fresh fruit. I'm also gonna put some shredded coconut here just to add a nice sweetness to them. And there you have it. The chia pudding is all ready to go. We can enjoy these now or we can just top them and take them on the go. For the full recipe and video, please check out Feel Good Foodie.